Let's talk about the source data for which we build our pivot tables from. Here I have an example of how the source data should be for a particular pivot table. It, the data should be tabular. So what I mean by tabular is if you think about like a table, a table that's in a database, um, all the columns are right next to each other. All the rows are right under one another. And there's no gaps in data. So if I were to come in here and to, to insert maybe a few uh, rows here, this isn't something that you want in your pivot table data. You want to make sure all that's cleaned up. Because if I go to the pivot table here and then I hit refresh, Notice how now there's blank, there's gaps in my pivot table data. So I want to make sure that my data, my rows are right under one another. And it's the same thing with the columns. If I were to add an extra column here, this isn't what you want. You want to make sure your columns are right next to each other. And then also your header row that's going to be your column names. So if I go back to my pivot table here and I bring all my field lists, and we're going to talk about the field list in a little bit, the field list has the different column names um, that are at the top of my source data. 